Right, so as the exercise suite, um, eight days post op. Uh, first exercise is crocodile breathing. I am proud. Using the tactile feedback from the floor onto your abdomen, you want to ensure that you're inflating your abdomen, not your chest. And so you're expanding on both sides, and front and back at the same time as well. You should hopefully get a decent shot of this in so much as you should see my lumbar care fill on the in-breath. Um, if you lie down here for a period, it's open to question how many, how many breaths you should take. Um, that will correspond with the amount of uh, proficiency you need to gain. So I'll probably just do about five breaths here. And the whole premise of, of this philosophy of rehab is that uh, something such as walking uh, and squatting, certainly running, uh, is a complex movement pattern. Now, with respect to the uh, cerebral insults I've had, it's wiped all of the complex patterns uh, pretty much my fundamental ones as well. Now, it, it's, it seems that the, the usual deal is to try to coach people straight back into walking. Um, however, if you try to practice a complex motor pattern, you will, not, um, you will not be able to achieve that, um, that complex pattern unless you've gained the fundamental primary movement patterns that make that up um, and certainly if you perform a complex pattern authentically then you'll exercise all the fundamental ones as well however if you haven't got the fundamental and primary ones trying to exercise the complex one you will not gain them or certainly not gain them efficiently I know certainly not authentically um, so even if I did learn to do something that looked like walking it wouldn't be authentic walking because I, I couldn't execute the fundamental patterns that support it. It would just be some, you know, uh, ambulation, crock of shit movement pattern. Right, this is following the sequence of movements that a baby learns. Now the first, uh, God, God knows how many months is it, would be, would be something like four months. We'll just be set with the uh, the baby trying to get its breathing pattern sorted. Breathing is the fundamental pattern. Not only does it obviously keep you alive with gases exchange, but it, it also provides the, the base for your core stability patterns. If, if something's full and expanded, then it can transmit and uh, protect against force efficiently. If it's empty and floppy, then you know you you haven't got a base. Um, you know, also, it can be used as a great indicator as to whether you're executing a, uh, a movement or a position authentically. Because if you can't breathe in that position, then you're almost certainly not executing it authentically. Because if you can't breathe in it, then it's got a very finite uh, execution time. Right. So my next one is rolling from supine to prone uh, using the upper upper body first now this is going to get association between opposite hip and shoulder which they're the rotations that need to be dissociated rotation that needs to happen for, for crawling and subsequently walking so leaving with my eyes first looking 
that what I'm going to reach for needs to be a, a reason for moving and reach out to it. And then you see that the, the upper torso rotated first, followed by the lower going back again, turning to look, turning to look, reach it with the eyes as well, and then come back over on each side. These are the exercises I would normally do as a part of my warm up in my uh, pre brain injury training days. Um, excellent warm up it ensures you, you maintain that primary movement pattern. That's also great spinal flossing. Uh, when I'm doing it now, it, it feels totally different than it did before. Loads of blank spots. And some bits where you're not quite sure where, where each part is. So, leaving with the lower half, take the eyes out of it. I missed out um, the Sphinx and the Cobra, which I should have done before Robin. The baby uh, gets its back line before it can roll. However, I'll pop them in now. It's happened practically every time I do it. I miss one out, get it out of the sink and all that one. But there you go. Cobra. You'll notice I'll take the full belly breath beforehand to go to stable core. Difficult in the, the final quarter of the movement, both in a, from a strength point of view and all, again that sort of blank feeling. After going to the Sphinx, once again on an in breath. Terribly solid that at the minute. Um, switching between hands. This even less so. I imagine you can see that the arm movements aren't clean at all. Supposed to be solely thoracic rotation now. I think I'm getting my hips in it a bit. But there you go. 